Shalom, Ka Halal, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom, to the Akiyam and to the Akwaf of you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. <clears throat> and this lesson is going to be entitled today, Exhortation to the Most High Elect. Exhortation to the Most High Elect. Okay? So, um, yeah. This is an exhortation to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to the Most High Elect. Alright? And I don't want to I, I pray that I'm a part of that precious number. Alright? And I do pray for brothers. Alright? And the sisters that believe in this truth and believe on Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, um, yeah. With that being said, you know, this is an exhortation. Okay, an encouragement to, to, to continue in the faith, continue in the doctrine, okay, and um, to walk the way of righteousness and look for the old path, as the scriptures say, you know, and um, pertaining to the elect, okay, um, we, we, we uh, are humbly, humbly speaking, okay, like I said, I pray that I'm a part of that number, okay, uh, I don't want to write the za. But we, because we know the Lord is dealing with a, um, a one a one third, okay. It's not like when we exit and our forefathers exit out of ancient Egypt, and He brought uh, the whole of Israel out of ancient Egypt, okay. But this time it's going to be different. The Lord is just dealing with His His elect, the, the chosen of His people, okay. The cream of the crop uh, at this time, okay. The 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 elect in the Greek is a klektos. The Hebrew is baka, bakayar, okay, the elect, the chosen ones, all right, and I pray that I'm of that number, it's, it's, it's a one-third, when, when you go to um, the book of uh, Zechariah, the 13th chapter and the 8th eight verse, it tells you how, okay, the one-third is going to be brought through the fire, meaning the tribulation and trials that's going to come upon the earth, you know, so I pray to be of that number, the scriptures tell you how uh, Revelation 20 and 6, okay, blesses he, so that, that have part in the first, okay, resurrection on whom of uh, the second death, okay, roughly paraphrasing. As a matter of fact, let me go to that scripture and grab that. It's because the Spirit led me there. Let me just go to it and read it, read it right quick. Revelation chapter 20, okay, verse 6. It says, blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection, meaning he's going to be delivered on the first go round when the Lord returns. Because the scripture tell you in Matthew chapter 12, so like in Matthew chapter 24 and verse uh, 31, it speaks about how he's going to send his angels to gather together the elect. That's another scripture to, to solidify and prove to you, precept upon precept, how the Lord is only returning to, to gather his elect. Okay, it says, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. Meaning, because the, the first death was the flood, right? When the Lord flood the earth in, in, in the time of Noah and, 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 and put to death everybody on the earth other than the eight souls who, who we redeemed. Uh, uh, who, there was the, the remnant of that time, the elect of that time, Noah and his household, okay? Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. There was the elect of that time, all right? And in these times, okay, this is going to be the second death because it's going to come by way of fire. Okay, uh, you can read Second Peter's the third chapter. Okay, it goes into that. All right, where the, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Uh, but let's read this scripture again, Revelation twenty and verse six. It says, "Blessed and holy is he that that hath part in the first resurrection, meaning those chariots, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, okay, or uh, 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 or UAPs, okay. They are the vehicles of our Lord, which is the vehicles of our, our salvation." The chariots, the scriptures call them chariots, clouds, whirlwind, horses, 
Okay, the different terminologies in the scripture for those for those for those chariots, man, the chariots of Israel. Okay, it says, "On such the second death hath no power." All right, once again, the lake of fire. Okay, but they shall be priests of the Most High, and of my um, and of Mashiach. All right, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So you you be blessed to get on those chariots, man. Okay, I don't want to write this. I pray that I'm of that, that precious number. So once again, going back to the title of the lesson, to the lesson this, is an, this is an exhortation to the Most High elect, all right? And let's get the scripture, uh, let's get Galatians, speaking of the elect, Galatians chapter uh, 6 and verse 16. This is, this is the Lord's chosen people, all right? Galatians chapter 6 and verse 16, speaking of the elect. It says, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and mer and upon the Israel of God. Okay, that's speaking of the elect, because not all Israel. Scriptures tell you in uh, what's that? The book of uh, Romans, the ninth chapter. Actually, we could we could get it. This is Galatians chapter six and verse sixteen again. It says, and as many as walk according to this rule. Peace be on them, meaning the elect, and mercy, and upon the Israel of God, right? The Israel of God right now is speaking of the elect, okay? Because that's who the Lord coming to save in these times, even, even though the scriptures tell you, say, and, and, and all Israel shall be saved, okay? That's, uh, 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 what's that, um, Romans, the 11th chapter and the 26th verse, and all Israel shall be saved, but the only difference is, a lot of them are going to be judged and punished on this side. When you read, going back to Zechariah, the 13th chapter, the 8th verse, it says, Two parts in the land shall be cut off and die. That's, that's talking about wicked Israelites, man. Our own people, the Lord's going to judge them on this side because they don't want to repent. And that's why when you go here to Romans 9, it tells you not all Israel is of that number. The Lord ain't going, going to deal with them on, on, on this side because they're going to be punished. Because they ain't seeking the Lord. This is Romans chapter 9, I think it's verse 6. Right? And it says, Not as though the word of God had not taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. See? Meaning the Lord ain't going to be dealing with the two the two thirds because they're going to be punished on this side. They're going to be punished. Now, when you leave from Romans 9, you skip over to Romans 11 and get it here. Uh, Romans 11 and chapter. Romans chapter 11 and verse 7, it says, What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, meaning the whole nation, the nation as a whole, Israel. It says, But the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Who is that? Who is that election? The same Galatians 6 and 16, the Israel of the Most High. See, those whom the Lord have chosen. That's why I pray to be of that number. And it would behoove you to pray and turn back to the Lord and repent. So this is an exhortation to the Most High elect. Those whom he have chosen, uh, they were predestinated before the foundation of the world. Okay, you can read that in Ephesians, the first chapter. Okay, but those who whom the Lord have chosen, they're going to move a certain way in these times. Because they know the scriptures say to look for the old path. You know, they're going to have, as the scriptures tell you, the mind of a Mashiach. You're going to have the mind of your Lord, man. Right? The scriptures tell you, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveal the seekers unto his servants, the prophets. Let's go to the book of 1 John. This is 1 John chapter 2. Uh, let's jump in here at verse 20. Okay. It says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Right. See? The scriptures say, uh, Revelation 3 and 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man open, I will come into him and sup with him. Right. So if you open that door, you, the Lord open up your mind and come into you and sup with you. You're going to share a meal with you, man, you know, build you up, you know, and if you continue, you know, in the word, you know, you're going to have the mind of a Mashiach. You're going to walk to the best of your ability, rehearsing the righteous acts, as it's telling in the book of Judges 5 and 11, okay, and uh, 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 doing what you're told, what you're commanded to do, to the best of your, your ability uh, while on earth, okay, until you fully perfect it. Okay, it says, uh, but ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. All right, First John chapter 2, verse 21. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, 
but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Okay, no lie is of the truth. All right, it says, who is a liar but he that denied that Yahweh Shai is Mashiach, right? He is, a, he is an antichrist that denied the father and the son, right? That's how you know they come in the spirit of error because the scriptures say to try the spirit. You see, you're supposed to try the spirit, you know? And if that spirit ain't confessing that Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, 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 is, is a man, okay, all right? That's one of the ways that you know that uh, that person is in error, okay? It says, whosoever denieth the son, the same hath not the father. But he that acknowledgeth the son hath the father also. And it says, verse 24, Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the son and in the father. Right? And this is the promise that he had promised us even eternal life. So you gotta continue, you know, through the spirit power of Yahweh Hashem You gotta, you gotta continue in this thing. Okay, that's why this is an exhortation for you to to, to continue in the doctrine. You know, continue, continue to fight the good fight of faith. You know, because these are the signs that you might be of that precious number of the elect. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be doing the work, keeping your hand to the plow. Okay, because the scripture speaks about if, if you draw back your hand, the, the Moshe ain't have no pleasure in you. You see? So this is that's why it is an exhortation. It's an encouragement to, to, to continue in the walk of showing that brotherly love. Okay? And um, continuing in, in, in the Lord's doctrine, man. Okay? And doing the work. You see? Let's get um the book of 2 Timothy. This is uh, 2 Timothy. Chapter 3, we're going to jump in here at verse 14. It says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, right? And hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Okay? You see? It says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Mashiach Yahawashai. You see? You got to continue into the things that thou hast learned. You know, us brothers, we learn from our elders and apostles. You know, even the scriptures say, to, uh, 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 look to the scriptures, man. The Lord said to search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life and they are they which testify of me. You know, so the scriptures say whatsoever was written aforetime was written for our learning. Okay, that we through patience might have hope, roughly paraphrasing it. But the, 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 the point is, we have those examples in the scriptures of our forefathers who were taught by, you know, uh, their teachers and their elders, you know, for an example, uh, the uh, Baruch, Baruch was ascribed to the prophet uh, Jeremiah, who was under study, right? Uh, Timothy, all right, uh, he was under study of uh, the apostle Paul, right? He called him his son. Also, uh, uh, I think it's Philip, you have the account with the, the Ethiopian eunuch when he, when he, when he, uh, Joined himself to the chariot of the uh, the uh, mm, of the Ethiopian eunuch, which was an Israelite. Okay, he was reading the scriptures. He was reading Isaiah fifty three. All right, and 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 he and he wanted uh, Philip to come expound uh, on him, expound the, the, the scriptures to him more perfectly. Okay, so we have those accounts in there. You know, the the twelve uh, the, the, the the disciples. There was with Yahweh Shai. You see, you get my, you see where I'm coming from? The, those accounts are in the scriptures for us to learn from. And we learn from our elders and apostles, right? You see, who learned from their uh, uh, elders, right? You see, so you see, you see the pattern? Uh, jumping down to verse 60, it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, in righteousness see you gotta you gotta you gotta continue in the doctrine man all right you gotta continue in the lord's word let's get that all right this is the book of uh saint john saint john the eighth chapter verse 31 all right it says then said 
Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him. Red letter. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. See, the point is to continue. That's why this lesson is entitled Exhortation to the Most High Elect. Because it's an encouragement for you to continue. I know. Um, hey, the scriptures say, uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, it speaks about how the Lord brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Therefore, we ought to show forth the praises. So we got we to show forth the praises by making our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? Going out into the highways and the hedges and the chief place of concourse, uh, uh, doing the work, compelling the people to come to the Lord, to turn back and to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, Acts 3.19, repent ye therefore and be converted so the times, okay, so that your sins may be blotted out. Okay? So that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing, you know, our, our job is to warn the people and to tell them to, to repent, you know. Um, St. John chapter 8 verse 31 again, then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. See, the truth is what's going to make you free, all right. And knowing the truth, you would know that you got to show that brotherly, that brotherly love. You, you know that, you know, the scriptures say uh, it's better to give than to receive. You just got to do those charitable works. The scriptures say charity covers a multitude of sins. Okay, you got to be charitable. You got to be sure in brotherly love. Okay, the, 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 the scriptures tell you how that love fulfills the law. Okay, let's go to uh, the book of Galatians. This is Galatians, uh, the fifth chapter. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13, it says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. See, we have to serve one another. That's a part of our walk. Okay? It says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. See, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, man. You see? You got to have love for your fellow brother, man, which is another Israelite, okay? And continue to walk in the spirit. And, and, and the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? At the end of the day, Yahweh Shai told you that he's the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by him, right? Say, but by me, meaning our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, when you read St. John, the 6th chapter, and the 44th verse, it tell you how uh, the Heavenly Father got to draw you and give you to Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it's all of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, so, so he who begin this work in you, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna do it. He's going to uh, continue it. Let me grab St. John first, and then I'm going to grab uh, Philippians 1 and 6, and we're going to close up. But let me grab that scripture to prove that real quick. Uh, St. John chapter 6, verse 44, I think it's 44. Right, red letter is our Lord, Yahweh Shai says, No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. So the Heavenly Father has to draw you into this thing. So that's in this coming, the scripture that's coming right now. He that hath begun a work in you, that's beginning from the Heavenly Father because he's the one that actually draw, draws you into this thing. Right? Um, and this is why you got to fear, and this is why you got to pray. You got to pray constantly, man, you know, so the Lord, uh, the Lord don't take his spirit away from you, man. King David prayed that prayer, right? I, Psalms, uh, the 51st chapter goes into that. That's why we got to continually pray and walk in and abide in the fear of the Lord, all right? Because the Lord give and he, he take away. So you got to be, you got to be using your talents. You got to be doing the work, man, okay? The scripture says a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, you know? You got to, you got to be doing the work. So if you draw back, you know? Lord said, so you don't have no pleasure into them that draw back. You know? This is, uh, we're going to end with this. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work. Who's the he? Yahweh. All right? Bahashim Yahweh Shai. He which had begun a good work in you. Right? Right? He took you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 
Therefore, you have to show for the praises. Right? Making your body a living sacrifice. Doing the work. Giving the people the warning. Telling them to repent. And letting them know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And salvation is open up to them. If they are of that, uh, that seed line from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? It says, He, I'll read it from the top again. Beginning, being confident of this very thing. All right, Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this very thing that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Meaning, until the day our Lord returns, man. Because guess why? When the Lord returns, that's when you're going to be perfected because the scriptures tell you, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, uh, uh, we shall all be changed in the twinkling of an eye. That means that that's when you're going to be made perfect. That's where that, um, that's where that, that, that second covenant Come into uh, into play with, with, with the Lord's God. The Lord is going to put the law, statutes, and commandments into our inward parts, programming you to be righteous, because you wouldn't be able to sin anymore. All right, you're going to keep the laws. You're going to keep everything perfect. Therefore, if you you don't sin, you don't die, because that's that's what bring uh, uh, sin. The wages of sin is death. Okay, but if you're not sinning, there is going to be no death. Okay, so you can read uh, the book of. Um, What's that? Uh, Jeremiah thirty-first chapter. It is beginning from the thirty-first verse going down. Also Hebrews chapter eight, like from the sixth verse going down. Also I believe Ezekiel thirty-sixth chapter. Okay, but um, yeah, he that being confident of this very thing, he that which hath begun, he, Selakia, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So once again, this is an exhortation to the most high elect. I don't want to say I do pray them of that number, humbly speaking. And I do for I, I do pray for like-minded brothers that's doing the work, okay, and in truth and in sincerity, okay. Um and and, and, and and the women, okay, that are being obedient to their husbands, okay, and seeking the Lord. All right. Um with that, I'm gonna end the lesson there, giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakudash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of great millstone to talk me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, shalom.